Hydronephrosis is a finding on imaging. It comes from the Greek for water in the kidney, and it simply means that the kidney, which makes the urine, is more full than it's supposed to be of the urine. And it can reflect any number of different conditions. It is not a disease by itself. It's simply a finding that we see on the imaging. Most children that we see who have hydronephrosis have no symptoms at all. They don't have any pain, they don't have any difficulties or problems, and you would never know that they have any kind of issue. That's especially true in the young babies who were diagnosed prenatally. There's another group of babies who have symptoms related to infection. They're diagnosed with a UTI, and then as part of the workup for that, we find the hydronephrosis in our testing. There's another group of kids, usually older, kids, some of those kids will show up with pain in their abdomen or their flank or their side. Those are usually kids with a significantly obstructed kidney. The kidney is actually blocked enough to stretch it and cause pain. And when those people undergo testing, the hydronephrosis is often seen. But that's a fairly small group compared to the overall population of kids that we see with hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis is not a disease. It's a finding that we see on imaging, ultrasound or some other type of imaging, where we see more urine or fluid in the kidney than we expect. But it's not by itself a disease. There are a number of different things that could cause the kidney to look that way, such as obstruction, such as reflux or the backwards flow of urine into the kidney, or even just that's the shape of the person's kidney and it happens to have more fluid in it than we think of as typical, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything bad going on. And so the testing we do is aimed at sorting all of that out and figuring out, does this hydronephrosis represent a real problem that needs to be fixed or is it something that we can watch? Most of the time it's identified on ultrasound Ultrasound is the simplest and safest way to do any kind of imaging of the inside of the body. Many of the kids we see were actually diagnosed prenatally, and today's ultrasounds are very good, and they can actually see the dilated kidney on the prenatal ultrasound. So many of our kids are diagnosed that way, and we see them either prenatally in our maternal fetal care center, or we see them after birth when they're just young infants. There's then another group of kids who have their hydronephrosis identified on imaging that's done for several reasons. They might have had a urinary infection, they might have had some pain or blood in their urine, or it might have simply been picked up on imaging that was done for some other totally unrelated reason, and they happened to see that the kidney or kidneys were dilated at that time. So there's a variety of ways we pick it up.